Hi Capricorn, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, we're gonna look around, we're gonna look at the energy around you at this time. Maybe about love, may not be. So whatever comes out, we're just gonna take it here. So let's see what the energy is like for Capricorn. So welcome everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy holidays. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? Um, I do say this is for January, but this will be out before January. So it's intended for whenever you see this. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So um, if you'd like to go back and watch past playlists, all your playlists are listed below. So feel free to check that out. And there's tons of stuff down there in the description box if you want to check that out. Um, how to book a personal reading, decks on music, social media. I do readings on Instagram tons of stuff down there so feel free to check it out and if you do thank you so Capricorn this is Zodiac Oracle so we're going to get sign element planet if you don't resonate with this that's totally fine well let's see what we have for you Capricorn so we have earth energy so that's your own energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn so you could have earth heavily in your chart other than Capricorn or you could have a fellow earth sign around you in some way but the earth uh, energy is just a very stable kind of energy it's about slow growth expansion it's a nurturing kind of energy um very stable grounded kind of energy so we'll see we'll see what's going on with you capricorn at this time so the first thing i'm going to do here is get an opening message for you and then i'll get another card for your current energy then we'll go over the bottom of the deck and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot and then we'll get some ending messages for you from the other oracle so what is the opening message for capricorn at this time spirit please well we got three i only want one to begin with what is the opening message for capricorn please i'm feeling that one come to the edge okay i just saw that and now it's making another appearance so 36 is nine so nine uh is almost coming to the end of a completion but not quite there yet, but this is, you know, come to the edge is also about maybe getting ready to, you know, take a leap of faith on something here. So let me just read a little tiny bit, um, snippet on that. And the 36, let's see, 37. Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear and accepting risk. So, hmm, taking a leap of faith, are we? see what's going on so what is your current energy maybe you're coming to the end of something um, and I just noticed earth is eight this card is nine and you are ten Wow so <laughs> eight nine ten tens are about endings and then one is always a new beginning so you could be coming to the completion of a cycle or the completion of something getting ready to start something new in your life and I do see hearts on that card so this could be about a new love situation. Hmm, I don't know. So let's see what your energy is like at this time. What's going on with Capricorn? Well, okay, I saw this and I have new life here. So we have 12, which is three, which is about, you know, working together with people, um, teamwork, collaboration, learning something new, compromise. So yeah, I feel like coming to the edge of getting ready to start a new life here. A new chapter but I feel like you're ending something right now so let's see what's on the bottom time for a nap so we have six six is a very healing balancing number with 24 so um, yeah maybe you know you got a lot go maybe you have a lot going on right now you know uh, completing something ending something wrapping things up you know taking care of loose ends and all that kind of energy getting ready for this new life, this new way of living, this new whatever it is for you. And this is telling you also take care of yourself, get enough rest, make sure you're eating right, uh, sleeping enough, um, that kind of energy. So make sure you're taking care of yourself also. Nurture yourself as with that earth energy. That could be the earth energy there is to make sure you're also nurturing yourself. Bring, I feel like it's um, maybe a hectic time for you, maybe you feel like you're on edge all the time because of everything going on also. So I don't know, we'll see. See what's going on for you, Capricorn. What is this new life about? What is this new life about for 
Capricorn. Looks like eight cards. I think I'll do it this way. What is this new life about for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. What is going on with Capricorn? King of Cups and the Eight of Coins. Yeah, working. So King of Cups is somebody who has love and emotions and feelings. Feel, feeling very loving and nurturing and caring. And somebody working hard here with the Eight of Coins. So you're working hard at something here in this new life that you're trying to set out for yourself. But you're feeling, you know, good. You're feeling, even though you may have a lot going on, I feel like you're feeling pretty good, you know. Uh, you know, you're coming from a loving place. Or you, you have your eyes set on somebody here that you're setting a new life for. And it could be somebody that, that could be a love situation. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Let's get some more now for your actual energy. Working hard for this new life that you, I think, are just going to love. The Emperor, yeah, taking lead, taking control, taking charge. The Devil, ooh, toxic energy. The Devil, or it could be very fiery, passionate energy. That's your energy, Capricorn. And the Two of Cups, okay, yep. So I feel like <laughs> Emperor, taking the lead, taking control, taking charge. Taking control of your life, I feel. And I feel like you have a very strong bond with somebody. Uh, two of Cups energy, this is soulmate union. So you do have a soulmate here. And I think you're, you're setting this new life, you know. You could be leaving toxic energy behind with that devil energy. Um, but this could also be a very strong bond with a soulmate. It's very sexual. It's very intense. Um, also, but let's get a couple clarifiers for that. What is, why is this devil energy here? Wow, we got the queen of cups now. So this is, yeah, soulmates. Definitely king and queen of cups right next to each other. Wow, doesn't, the, I know you're an earth sign, but it doesn't matter when you get a matching couple like this in a reading. This is soulmate energy. Wow, so you're taking control, you're taking the lead, you're taking the reins. And you're moving in this direction of this soulmate, the moon. So this could be about secrets. So maybe you didn't tell. Maybe you kept it secret. Maybe it was like secret intentions. Like, okay, I'm ending this cycle and I have the secret love. Whether you, you were together or not or you just have a mutual connection. And you're waiting until your new life is here before you come into union with the soulmate. Or, you know, this could have been a third-party situation and you're leaving one situation to be with your true soulmate because the moon can be about secrets uh, and that kind of energy. Because we do have the devil. And with the devil and the moon, um, I don't have any threes here. So, well, the new life here does add up to three. So, I mean, you could be li li leaving one person to go to your true love to your soulmate and I feel like whatever situation you were in was very toxic and now you're just leaving that you decide to take the reins take control and go and head towards the soulmate but I think you kept this to yourself like you didn't tell anybody okay so wow all right well I just wanted two for your advice actually you know I want to take well, I'll take them all. So we have the Knight of Swords. So this is taking swift action here with truth, clarity. We have the Hangman and we have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, something definitely over here. Something definitely, definitely over. I feel like whatever this life was you had, uh, definitely leaving that toxic energy behind. Too much of a burden here with the Ten of Wands. Um, you know, maybe things are very still and stagnant in that life with the hanged man. Um, or, you know, this is your new person, you know, you know, had to wait till the right time with the hanged man energy. Had to put it on pause, put the brakes on, say we have to wait until I'm free and clear of my situation. I have my new life in order and then we can be together. I have to complete this cycle with the Ten of Wands, ending that burden and then taking swift action here to your soulmate. So this is either you or them, however the energies resonate. If this is 
you know, person leaving a situation or you are, however it resonates for you. So, wow, okay, let's get some advice here. So we got the Two of Swords being indecisive here. Uh, okay, let's get another one. Wow. Wow. Okay, your advice. So needing to make a decision, Three of Cups, and there's the third party about a lover. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Spirit really spit that out. So you need to make a decision here. That's your advice about this situation, Three of Cups. I mean, usually I don't get third party with the Three of Cups energy here. But since I have that feeling with the devil and the moon um, kind of energy, um, yeah, you need to make a decision here on uh, these two people. So I feel like you are going to leave one to go to your true soulmate. So that's your advice. So let's get a couple more to clarify that. Yeah, the Four of Cups, I definitely feel like you're bored and complacent and just done with whatever, whatever situation you are in. Because right after that, you're ready to take swift swift action there with the Knight of Swords. So you, whatever situation you're in now, um, you're, you're just bored. You're bored with it. You're done. You're done with it already. So let's get another one here. So we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this is a fiery, passionate new beginning, but... It's here, but it can't happen just yet. So maybe this is holding back um, from being, you know, intimate with this person. You know, maybe, you know, it's not the right time. <laughs> so we got to hold back on this fiery, passionate energy until, you know, it's the right thing to do. Um, so, you know, when this new life starts, then this, I feel this Ace of Wands will be upright. But right now, or this just, you know, like no more passion in whatever... Um, energy you're in now, whatever uh, situation you're in now, there's just no more passion there. It's bored, you know, boredom, it's stagnant, it's blah. You know, people are just kind of hanging around, you know, it's not loving, it's not fun, it's not passionate, it's just kind of blah. So uh, let's get your possible outcome here. So we got the three of wands. So yeah, this is waiting, waiting for this fiery passion new beginning. You see it off in the distance, the ship's coming in. But it's not quite here yet because you haven't completely left whatever cycle you're in now that you're completing. And once you start this new life, this new chapter, and I feel you're going to go towards this person who you feel is your true soulmate. So you're just waiting, patiently waiting here with the Three of Wands energy. So let's get a possible outcome here. More on this. Faith. So this is the Hierophant energy. So doing what's moral, just, and right. Spirituality. Uh, faith, hope, optimism, um, you know, and that usually is the Hierophant card, which talks of marriage. So if you look at this, you could be married right now, very, very bored um, and complacent in a marriage or a long-term commitment. Wow. And you're just waiting for it to be like over and done with already. So you can be with your true love, your true soulmate. Five of cups. Yeah. Sadness, loss, hurt here. So I feel like you're just sad that you just can't be with your person right now. It's like, <laughs> because the Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like you want to be with them so badly, but you just can't right now because it's just not the right time. You have to do what's moral, just and right before you can be together. So that's waiting here, but there's sadness until then, unfortunately. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Sun. So coming in here, total happiness, joy, um, success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy, happy home and family, everything positive with the sun, seven of wands. So being a little defensive and on guard, you know, maybe you're like that in your current relationship now, but I feel like going into the new one, you're really going to defend this relationship. You're really going to stand up for it. Six of coins, wanting equal give and take, wanting balance. Three of coins again. And... We have the eight of coins over there. So three of coins here, you know, and again, threes are about teamwork, collaboration, learning something new, um, compromise. So I feel like, you know, there will be compromise. Things will be worked out here in your situation. And justice. So there it is. So Spirit told me earlier, justice, justice. And I said, well, we'll see if it comes out. And there it is. So some of you could be going through a divorce here. Um, yeah, marriage. Ten of coins is the marriage card. Divorce. 
But we Wheel of Fortune here, Fate, Destiny, things going in a better direction, divine timing. Everything is divine timing. And then you'll be living in pure bliss here with the Palace of Wands. Pure ecstasy, fire, passion, excitement, and bliss. Tree of Life. So, wow. So whatever here, this person that you're... Whatever you know, you've been through was meant to be for you. It was all part of your roots, your tree of life, your life purpose, your blessings, your gifts, your um, everything you needed to learn. But also this person coming into your life is meant to be here with the tree of life and the wheel of fortune, taking that leap of faith. Wow. And the two of wands, making that decision, taking a leap of faith with someone who was meant to be, that is be deeply rooted with you as with that earth energy here. With the tree of life so for the signs here we have aquarius with the fool uh, leo sag aries uh, sagittarius libra uh, let's see here leo the sun we got water here with cancer scorpio pisces uh, libra gemini aquarius taurus pisces uh, capricorn that's your energy aries um let me see here Cancer Pisces over here. So a lot of signs here, so don't get too caught up with the signs, but I feel like this is definitely a lot of fire energy here. This definitely could be a soulmate twin flame situation that you're going into and leaving maybe a karmic relationship. Finally, going into a soulmate relationship. Probably somebody you'll spend the rest of your life with. All right, Capricorn, so I'm going to get some messages from this deck to close it out. So I do ask Capricorn, if you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. And um, if you subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do four readings a month, and you won't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you so much. I do a general tarot forecast like this. Sometimes it's love, sometimes it's not. I do a love connection reading. I do a singles reading, who's coming towards you. I also do uh, messages from spirit, or I do an angel card reading or a special reading like that. And I do a element energy reading weekly. So if you're interested in all that, subscribe at the bell, you won't miss out if you do. Thank you so much. Just a quick shout out to everybody who supported the channel, whether you've tipped, donated, reached out for personal reading, uh, sent a gift or whatever you've done to support, just subscribing. Thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So let's see what your um, first card is. Amending Bridges, I heal rifts, I am a mender. So. I feel like, you know, whatever situation you're leaving, you know, maybe there'll be like a peaceful, res I don't want to say resolution, but maybe there'll just be forgiveness and peace and things will kind of be left on good terms. I mean, you may not be friends after, but at least, you know, you won't have that toxic karmic cord still tied. You may want to make sure that you mend the bridges and you have closure so you're not... Um, karmically still tied with that cord from not having closure is what I'm getting. So let's get another message for you, Capricorn. Let's get another message for Capricorn. Embracing the future. Wow. I step into the future with an open heart. Exactly. And I feel like it's with your soulmate here. Embracing the future, new life, coming to the edge. Make sure you're taking care of yourself though over there with time for a nap. And then soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. Exactly. So, and we did see the palace of wands there. So feeling <laughs> just like eternal bliss with this person. And joy and happiness with the sun. Bottom of the deck, launching your journey. I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. So I just feel like, I mean, you may not be literally traveling, but launching your journey, your new journey with this person. Uh, new life, new journey. Wow, Capricorn, a lot of energy here. <laughs> so best of luck to you, Capricorn, and um, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.